Theo of your wedding day. Let's watch the vows of you two. It's amazing. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, Chris, take you, Rachel, to be no other than yourself, with respect for your integrity and faith in your love for me through all our years and in all that life may bring. I, Rachel, take you, Chris, to be no other than yourself. I promise to be ever open to you and, above all, to do everything in my power to permit you to become the person you are yet to be. I give you my love. All right, I'm going to cry. Uh, Chris, <laughs> first off, let's, let's talk about the, the, that moment right there. Why were you, why were you sitting down, Chris? Uh, I was sitting down because we kind of wanted everybody on the same level. Um, my uncle, who is the minister for the ceremony, uh, sat down as well. So we kind of arranged, you know, when he was addressing the crowd as a whole, he would stand up. But, you know, when it was an intimate setting and we were going over our vows and everything, we all wanted to be seated and at the same level. So it was, it was very important that we, you know, I could look into Rachel's eyes and, you know, kind of see her and be on the same level. And you know, I, this is an amazing story. If you haven't followed it, you know, it, 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 was, it was so heartfelt. You know, Rachel called Chris and, you know, on that night, and, uh, you know, shortly after, and, and, you know, you were on a hunting trip, Chris, and you were told the news of Rachel. I, we, we've, that story's been told before. I want to talk about the future. I want to talk about where we're going with this. But first off, was there ever a point, because Chris, I mean, this has been very tough on the both of you. Was there ever a point, Rachel, where you said to Chris, if this is too much for you, I understand if you want to take off? Um, no, never said that. <laughs> um, I, I never, you know, I never really had a doubt that he would feel like that, but I mean, in my mind, I'd turn the tables and, you know, if it were him, I would have been kind of offended, you know, if he had said that to me, you know, yeah. so... Um, I think we kind of, you know, understand each other's love for each other. If the tables were turned, I wouldn't have wanted to ask him to ask me that, yep. and I wouldn't have done it. So, and, and Chris, you know, I, I didn't ask him that. And Chris, and that's the thing. I mean, it, 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 there, you, there was never a moment in your mind where you're like, you're like, hey, all right, this is something we got to deal with, and we're going to deal with it, and we're going to move on, correct? That's right. It was it was really just one moment to the next. We were trying to support each other through it, and uh, you know, it was kind of, what are we going to do? But no, it never came up.